Hello and welcome back to the Toronto website developer.com. I am PD Worski, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, we're back with Drupal 7 and we're going to be looking at creating a store uh, node locator, uh, proximity search using views, uh, GMAP module, and location module, just like in Drupal 6, except for the new views 3, you're going to need chaos tools as well. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded GMAP, views, and chaos tools. And in terms of location module, the one caveat is right now, there's only um, location module 7.x dash, I believe it's 3.x, um, and that's a port of the Drupal 6 version. The Drupal 7 version, which they're creating from scratch, is actually the 4.x version, and you can't get that on Drupal.org yet. You have to get it through Git. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I've downloaded that. If you're not familiar with Git, I highly recommend you get on it. Um, unfortunately, I won't be showing you how to use it in this video tutorial, but there's a great video tutorial on the DrupalCon Chicago um, conference. They uh, they recorded uh, how to use Git, except that the sound quality is terrible, uh, but it'll help you uh, set it up and show you how to use it. So that said, let's dive right into it. Um, I haven't enabled anything because I wanted to show you specifically what we need because location and GMAP both come with a lot of different modules that you don't necessarily need. So we want GMAP, we want GMAP location, we want location, we don't care about add another, we don't care about all that stuff, we want node locations. Let's go ahead and save. We might not need uh, location CCK, we'll test it out. Great, so now that that's set up, uh, let's go ahead and we'll configure our, and they've moved that, so let's go into GMAP. So we need an API key. So the one thing that you want to make sure is enabled is auto zoom. This will actually zoom in on the marker. Uh, so if you have four markers across country, it'll actually zoom in across country. Uh, if you have one in a specific city, it'll zoom in on that specific city. Make sure you use that. Um, I totally forgot I checked it off one time. I couldn't figure out where it was. And somebody asked me for help and took me forever to find it. Uh, so there we go, our default map. Let's go back. So we have to go to GMAP location. And here you can change the specific macro that you're using, uh, if it's a user map, as well as a known map. I'm not gonna change any of that, but I thought I'd show you, uh, just in case you wanna change the defaults. So nothing for me to save. Okay, so now we'll go to configuration, content authoring, we have location, and we got some things to set up in here. Okay, so if you wanted to allow users to use a Google map, you would check that off, uh, allow them to actually set the, the location of the thing of their location, let's take a look at bundles. That content type. And we're gonna name this a location. Uh, no locations for our store no locator. Location name. Okay, optional. Don't want it on the front page. Display is fine. Now, our locative information. You definitely want a location. Maximum is gonna be one, collapsed. Location name, we are already calling our title that. We're gonna require a street. We're gonna allow additional, we're gonna require, 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 require. We do not want to collect coordinate choosers. And for our high, we're gonna high coordinates, all the way up from the bottom here. And we'll leave the nest. So we don't need location name. So we'll go ahead and save and add fields. Okay, so you can add some other fields if you wanted to. But let's go back and we've got uh, where are we? content authoring location. So map links. Shouldn't have anything to change here, but just want to confirm that we're set up. So Canada, we're using Google Maps. That's great. So for geocoding, you usually have to set this up. So we're going to go down to Canada. I want Google Maps. Obviously, if you're using the United States, you're going to choose uh, Google Maps for that as well. Save configuration. Right, and there shouldn't be anything on the location utilities. If you need to clear the province cache or any other supported countries, that's where you would do it. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll clear supported country just because we enabled one. Okay, great. So now that that's set up, we have our content type. Let's go ahead and we will add some content. Now we're going to add some content and I'm pretty sure it's not going to actually show us our location. We'll have to enable a block, but let's find out. So we'll call this Pete's store. Right. So 